Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here, and welcome back to Minecraft SOS. This week's challenge is a mystery game of Villager versus Pillager. So to begin, players enter the hut one by one to be assigned a role as either a Villager or a Pillager. And for the rest of the challenge, they must act accordingly, secretly completing tasks related to their role. Then at the end, all the Villagers try to guess who were the Pillagers amongst them this whole time. So when it came round to my turn, I entered the hut, pressed the button, and my role was... A pillager. So obviously I began freaking out immediately. Look at all these pillager tasks I have to complete. So I went home and hatched a foolproof plan. Okay, one of the tasks I have to complete is cosplay as a pillager around three other players without them noticing. And I have an idea. It might be a bad idea, but I think it might just work. So let's grab this pillager head. I will also craft this banner into a pillager shield. And now that I look the part, it's time for my cunning plan. The entire server is gathering at Pix's hole to dig out the last few chunks. And I thought with all the chaos going on, I might be able to get away with completing this task. So I hid myself in the crowd and donned my disguise. Okay, so how this is gonna work, deniers. we have three team captains picked out already. Uh, team captain number one, Mythical Sausage, who de decided Yay. to build an entire church dedicated to the hole. Second team captain is Jimmy, uh, because Thank he you. built a tribute to the hole. And oh. the third team captain <laughs> is Eloise. As you can see, everything was going according to plan. All the other players were far too focused on themselves to notice that I was dressed as a pillager. That was until Eloise spotted me. And I noticed her watchful gaze was getting a little too watchful. So I tried to act really natural and peek over the side of the hole. But when I turned around again, she was still watching me. But I just kept playing it cool and I think I got away with it. Because a few minutes later, she picked me to be on her team. Minute to win. Lizzie, get here. Yeah, I proved myself. I did really fast, actually. <laughs> Lizzie honestly did super well the first time around. Only one death. So not only had I gotten away with my disguise, I had also infiltrated an elite team of hole diggers, which was actually very lucky for them, because I have a lot of experience digging this hole. Each team was assigned a chunk, and the race began. The team to dig out their chunk the fastest would win three fake coins, and I desperately wanted to win. So I put my pillager nature aside, and we worked as a team. This is like... So bloody fast! Yeah. Look at us go! <laughs> Turns out the three of us made quite the dream team, and we quickly made our way through the layers of stone. Meanwhile, the other teams were making progress too. Well, Sausage's team was making progress. I'm not really sure what Jimmy's team was doing. But eventually, every team made it to Deep Slate, and it was time to deploy the Moss Method. It was beautiful. Everyone working together in harmony towards a common goal. And do this. Oh, oh, someone spawned a wither. Oh my god. But we were determined not to lose this competition, so we just kept on digging. People were dying all around us. <gasps> Joel died! Oh my god. Oh, oh my god! <gasps> oh my gosh, Pix died! No! Owen just passing. died to a wither. <gasps> you are kidding! Hurry, we're nearly done. We were just a few layers away from bedrock, and eventually we emerged victorious and I won myself a fate coin. Unfortunately though, due to a prior arrangement I had with Owen. You owe me the, for the fate coins. If I die, I expect you to, to get me back. I had to spend four fate coins to bring him back to life. These are the four Thank fate you. coins that I owe you. Thank you so much. And he's here. And there he is. Welcome Woo! back. All right. And of course I used my last fate coin on John. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Back. Well, oh, he's back. And now I have no coins left. So now it's more important than ever for me to finish all of these tasks. And what do we have here? Sabotage three villagers front doors. That sounds like an easy one. I could probably do that right now. There are plenty of people online. So let's go find my first victim. If I fly all the way to the other side of the map, that will probably look a lot less suspicious than if I sabotaged one of my neighbors. So let's go visit the furthest away player, Eloise. And all I need to do is sabotage her front door without her noticing. She doesn't seem to be home. So I'm just gonna grab it and run. 
Get out of here! Wait, is that her flying in? Oh my gosh. Well, if she didn't suspect me before, then she definitely does now. Oh well, on to the next victim. I will target Jimmy. Under the cover of darkness, I will steal his front door. And there's nobody to stop me. Okay, there's a bunch of people online to stop me, but I'm gonna try anyway. What's this? An iron golem? I do not fear you. And as a pillager, it is my great honor to slay you with my axe. Very slowly. Death to all villagers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a door to take and an escape to make. However, like a fool, I returned to the scene of the crime. Ow. Hey, have you took my door? No. Well, come in. Apparently, I haven't got a door anymore. I think I will. Who's that? It's Eloise! What are you doing? <laughs> um, what the hell's going on here, mate? I well, I'm just, well, you could answer me this. Who mm -hmm. took my door? Because when Lizzie. I logged in, it was here, and now it's not. What did it look like? I walked over, and it was just you and Lizzie, so I'm assuming Lizzie stole it. No, I was fishing. Me and Lizzie turned up at the same time, and it wasn't here. I thought, Eloise, you should be in shifty, all right? No, we're gonna you know what? Minute. Earlier, she was flying around. I don't know okay, what Jimmy, she was doing. No we're way. Going to the tower, Jimmy. Jimmy, we're going to the top of the tower. She's going to push me off. Oh, Lizzie. my God. <laughs> She's going to push me off right now. Right. It takes a while to get up here, by the way. Okay. I need to know what they're saying. She could be telling Jimmy that I am definitely a pillager. I know she is. But how do you know she's a pillager? Because I've witnessed things. I've witnessed things. <laughs> Right, okay, I understand now because that we yesterday. have to come up here. Right, take a take a because yesterday. Come take a seat over. Oh. Hey! Hey guys! Hey! hey. <gasps> Get down! Oh Okay, it only took half my hearts. Jimmy! What was and that? You nearly killed me! I thought you were gonna fly! <gasps> right. Well, I will leave you to your private conversation. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. See you in a bit. <laughs> right. That has not gone very well, obviously. I think Eloise might be on to me. I thought all hope was lost. But then, Jimmy turned up at my house, and he did something that gave me a glimmer of hope. Where is, where is this racket? Why have you got that one? Sorry, sorry. Just listening to some tunes. Right, I need to go, um... Are you looking for something? No. Are you trying to pillage my hat? What are you Sorry. doing? I need to, um... Wait, could it be Jimmy was a fellow pillager completing the pillager task to steal all my crafting tables? There was only one way to find out. Oh, I'll be right back. I just need to go get something. Do I need to be here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, wait. just wait for me. I'll be like 30 seconds. Plenty of time, but not too much time. All right. A few moments later. And sure enough, I returned home to find that Jimmy had disappeared. And so too had my crafting tables. They're gone! That means Jimmy must be a pillager. And it didn't take long before the final pillager also revealed themselves to me. When Joel tried to steal my camel. <gasps> which rather suspiciously is one of the pillager tasks. Oh, he's doing it. He's actually taking my camel! Well, that makes one thing clear. Joel is definitely a pillager. Perhaps I should confront him. Hello, Joel. Uh, hello, Lizzie. How's it going? Fancy seeing you here on this fine day. Fancy it indeed. Was... What you been up to? Oh, you know. Um, I was just putting the nine golem in Shelby's home. See, uh, I've noticed my camel is missing. What? Something happened to Reginald. Who's Reginald? You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? You wouldn't be, uh, stealing a named pet from a villager and planting it on another player, would you be doing that? Why is that worded so precise, Lizzie? Well, let's just say I'm a well-read person. <laughs> I read a lot of books. Maybe we've read the same book. Maybe we have, Lizzie. What similar interests we could have? Okay. All right, yeah, I'm a pillager. Are you a pillager? Yeah, I'm a pillager. Okay, good, 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 oh, good. Oh, God, Scott's online. Oh, my gosh. I feel like we've been rumbled already. <laughs> just saying it out loud. It summoned him. Hello. He's waving. What does that mean, Lizzie? Oh, you're shack natural. I'll wave back. Yeah, 
See, here's the thing, Joel. Yeah. I think I know who the third pillager is. What if we have a meeting, all three of okay. us, and uh, we can make sure that we have done all of our tasks for the greater good. Okay, how many of tasks have you done? I've done one so far. I I've built a secret base. Oh, <gasps> that would be perfect. We should meet there and have a secret oh, pillager meeting. Okay, it's in Sausage's windmill. Okay, I'll see you there at sunset. Now, disperse in case Scott finds us together. Okay, I'm sorry about your camel. Wait, I should probably go retrieve my camel. Reginald, what have I told you about? Oh, let me neck, I can't. You want to stay here or something? What, you trying to say Shelby's a better pet owner than me? Wait, you're not Reginald. Where the heck is Reginald? Where's my camel? Oh, <gasps> Joel. This is shocking. Poor Reginald. Let's go. We have a meeting to attend. Now I just need to find this secret base that Joel built. And it's somewhere here in Sausage's area. Hmm. Now, according to the rules of the challenge, it must have a proper access point. So, somewhere around here is an entrance to a secret base. And if I was Joel, I would build it in the pond. Oh, no, okay, no, never mind. Not safe. I don't think it's here. Maybe it's here under the church. Or would that be too cliche? Oh, <gasps> it could be down here. Yoo-hoo! Whoa, this goes really deep! What is this? It's a good job I have Aqua Affinity on my helmet because this goes all the way down! Okay, nope, there's just an axolotl down here. Oh, I'd better get out. I was wrong. Oh my goodness! Where else would you hide a secret base? Oh my gosh, wait. I remember! He said it was under the windmill! I was looking in the wrong place this whole time. I'm just not cut out for this. Okay, it should be somewhere around here. <gasps> <gasps> Hello? Hello. Oh. oh, this is very secretive. Oh my gosh! Welcome. Are you... No Hello, way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> I did not expect you. Lizzie, I had an inkling. Joel, You've hid that well. Yeah. Actually, Joel, you haven't hidden it well. Oh, no. They know. You've been rumbled, and so have I. I'm pretty sure I've been rumbled as well, so uh, we've all been rumbled. We are probably the worst pillagers in existence. Oh, dear. Yeah. Do you know what? It's harder than you think. Have you guys even done the tasks? Uh, they're going to go, it's you, you, you. Let's all vote them, and it's going to be depressing. I think they have us fingered. Yeah. So w w what do we do? I think we show them what a real pillager raid looks like. Boom, TNT, thing. all dead. <gasps> Wait, are you saying that we rigged the voting hut? Yes. Ooh. What if we accidentally kill the whole server, though? That would be kind of bad. <laughs> There's no way everybody dies. Scott doesn't die. It's, he doesn't die, so... And uh, Scott can never die. Yeah, yeah. He's invincible. So he can bring everybody back. Yeah. Yeah, they, they probably won't bring us back. That's yeah. a possibility. That we might die yeah. forever. That's all right. That's okay. At least we'll go out with a bang. So off we went to the voting hut where it all began. And soon, it would all end. Should I do it under here, do you reckon? I reckon under this block here. Okay. It's going to be a very big explosion. How big? <laughs> Enough to kill quite a few people. Okay. Now we should probably get out of here so they don't suspect anything. Good right. luck, gamers. All right. Bye bye. Good luck. Two hours later. It is time for the vote. We are going to go in one by one to the voting booth so nobody can mess with you. You will grab three pieces of paper, name three different names on them. You can't vote for the same person twice. After that, throw your papers into the cauldron, and we will do the final vote tally after that. And we will have the three people with the most voted for line up right here, and then they can reveal if they were pillagers or villagers, and we'll see who Yo. wins. So when it came round to my turn to vote, I'm done. Done. I entered the hut, and I voted for none other than myself, Jimmy, and Joel. Then I cast my votes into the cauldron and awaited the results. Number one, most voted for Mr. Solidarity Gaming. What? Oh, oh, so are you kidding me? Are you oh kidding me? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Number two most voted for LD Shadow Lady. <gasps> oh, 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 so I can't believe, I don't believe it. 
<laughs> she was so innocent. Now, number three. Smallish beans. What? No oh. way. No. no. In. Wow. You guys want to oh, go wait. down the line yeah. and yeah. top to bottom yeah, and reveal do. what you were? Jemmy. I am yeah. a pillager. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I am. I am a pillager. Oh. We knew it. I hate to break it to you guys because you have really messed this up. Oh, oh no. As I'm also a pillager. Oh, yeah. 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 Pull the yeah. lever, crank! Yeah. Oh. Wait, did it kill everyone? No. What yeah. happened? Oh, oh my god. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? And after that great betrayal, unsurprisingly, nobody wanted to use their fake coins to revive us, marking the end of my Minecraft SOS.